Hey friends, tonight I am at the Magic Kingdom and I'm going to be dining at the Crystal Palace because it just reopened. So, let's go do this. And then after dinner, we're going to actually walk around the Magic Kingdom a little bit because look how beautiful it is. It's the season. Tis the season. And like I said, the Crystal Palace just reopened and it is a completely different experience. If you've dined at the Crystal Palace before, this is nothing like that. 100% different. I'm excited to see what changes they made. The last time that I actually ate here was the night Disney World announced they were shutting down. I was in here and I had that video and I was actually eating dinner and that's when I heard, hey, they're closing down Disney World. And I was like, what? So I'm excited to be back here, very excited. Normally it's been known for a character buffet, like the Crystal Palace, a buffet with character, but that's no more. Not even characters, not even buffet. So there's gonna be a lot to cover. Either way, I'm very excited because I know what this restaurant can do and I love it. Oh, that's me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm just so excited to be back here. The inside of this restaurant just literally feels like a Disney restaurant. And that's what I love about it. As a lot of you know, this used to be where you can actually dine with Winnie the Pooh and friends. And they actually used to come out and you can meet Piglet, Eeyore, Tigger, and even Winnie the Pooh himself. But no characters anymore because of you know the pandemic that we're in but they do have some topi areas here we have tigger and piglet right there and on the other side you probably got winnie the pooh and eeyore right there look at them isn't that kind of cute and this was the buffet area so you would actually just walk around here and get whatever you wanted and they had some amazing food hot wings jambalaya i remember i really really loved the buffet here so i'm excited to see what they have it's a pre-fixed meal now and uh i'm just happy to enjoy and be here right here is my table for this evening i like it i like the boots and i like the view it's actually a really good view because we have a castle view. I love anywhere you can just sit down and eat and stare at the castle. I feel like that's just an added benefit. Another thing that I like about the Crystal Palace is they actually have a very good beer and wine list and special cocktails that they actually make in-house. And you don't see that in many of the Magic Kingdom restaurants. Like they'll always have like the beer and wine, but specialty cocktails, that seems like it's something special. So I'm gonna have to get one of those. As you can see, we got the good old Bud Light, the Michelob, and some Angry Orchard. But down at the bottom is where you got the specialty cocktails. They have a sparkling wine with orange juice, and then a house-made white sangria that's actually made with pineapple juice and fruit. So I think I'm going to go with that. I mean, I'm going to be fancy here. I mean, I guess I'm going to be really fancy. Look at that. It's already here. Enjoy. <laughs> fancy. Wow. They really do put <laughs> actual fruit in there. That is delicious. Oh, much too good for children. I literally can be drinking that all day. All day, I say. I just got some amazing news from my waiter, actually. So coming in here, I did know that the actual meal was a prefixed meal, and you get your bread and salad, and that's all you care to enjoy. And then you order your entree, and you have to pick your entree from like the selection that they have. But I did not know that the entrees are endless as well. So you can actually get as many as you'd like, but only the ones that you order. So if you get the prime rib, you can get another prime rib afterwards. But you can't like swap them up. You can't get prime rib and then chicken, which is like a game changer, especially for the price. That blew my mind. The bread and the salad just showed up. And the bread is actually two different types of rolls. They have like your traditional like roll right here, and then a bacon cheddar roll, and then three different types of butter. And it looks like we have a jam, and then a honey butter, and then this is an onion butter. And then the salad looks absolutely amazing. And I'm not a big salad guy, but I'm gonna eat some of this. I see we've got watermelon and we got, I think walnuts, yeah. 
Wow, this is really impressive so far. I'm definitely very excited to try the different dinner rolls that they have, and especially the butter. So I'm gonna start with the, just a home style one, and then I'm gonna get the honey butter first because Winnie the Pooh loves honey. So I feel like it goes hand in hand. Yes, we're gonna put a little bit on there. You know, I wish Josh was here because I'd like to get his spreadability with all this butter. I have to say, I absolutely love the honey butter, but now I'm interested on the onion butter. We gotta get a little bit of that. Oh boy. I really can't even tell you what butter I like the most because they are all fantastic. If anything, I feel like the onion butter is the most unique tasting, but I did not try the cheddar bacon biscuits yet. Look at the inside of the cheddar bacon biscuits though. They look very good and I'm not a big cheddar biscuit fan, mostly because of the cheddar. So I'd like to know how these taste if I'm not a big fan of cheese. I do love bacon. The bacon cheddar biscuits are amazing. I can't even believe I'm saying that right now. I don't know what to say. I don't know what I like more. I mean, I don't think you need the butter for the bacon cheddar biscuits. I think you need the butter for the other ones. So use that and then eat these just the way that they are. Now I'm gonna dive into the salad because this is like one of the most unique looking salads I've seen and I'm excited. Oh, I see I got some tomato under there too. I'm gonna try to get everything in one bite but it's hard to get the nuts on the actual fork with the watermelon, the lettuce, and tomato, but I think I can make this happen. That is beyond amazing. I can't believe there's a salad I love as much as this. I don't know what's happening here, guys. I've never had such an amazing experience from the get-go. I have always been a very picky eater. Like, I eat my things very plain. I don't like sauces and I don't like cheeses. But recently, I've been really expanding my palate and trying new things. And it's been so much fun. And I think it's because of the videos. So that's also because of you guys. So thank you for giving me the courage to try these new things and experience different flavors that I've never even tried before. You can take a look at the menu here. We have country fried chicken with a macaroni and cheese and collard greens a brown sugar glazed bone-in pork chop, a fire roasted prime rib of beef, that's what I actually ordered, a blackened catfish and shrimp, and a southern fried cauliflower. So they have like a lot of good options and even some really good sides and it's kind of like southern comfort food. This is what I'm really liking this. And after you get done with your entree, they actually bring out a dessert platter with tons of different desserts on it. I'm so excited to show you those as well. Normally, the buffets can run you about $59.99, but that was prior to the closure and the shutdown. Now the restaurants have opened up and they've been charging the same price, some a little more. So like here at the Magic Kingdom, Cinderella's Castle is I think like $70 and $60 for some. I did Hollywood and Vine the other day. It was the regular price and it was kind of set up like this, but not all you can eat entrees. But this one right here, is $40 for an adult. That is mind blowing to me. Absolutely amazing. That is the best price I feel like at Disney. I am shook. I'm trying not to eat all the rolls, but I absolutely love them. And the more I dive into it, the onion with the cheddar bacon biscuit, best combination. Absolutely. I mean, you don't need actual any of the butters for the cheddar biscuits, but they're just it just adds to it. And the prime rib is here. Take a look at this, guys. I am so excited. We have a little tiny Yorkshire pudding, which I'm so excited to actually try. Some potatoes right here. And then these must be the collard greens on this side. Yes. I'm just so excited to dive into this. Looks much too good. I'm gonna try the potatoes first, because they look absolutely amazing. And now I'm gonna cut in to my prime rib. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I can tell already. Oh, look at that. This is it. I've got high expectations. It's literally just amazing. I love it so much. I can't get over it. I think I need some au jus, like 
normally that's what you would get with uh, a prime rib, I would hope. And uh, that would be great to just like dip it in there. But this is absolutely phenomenal. Amazing, actually. My waiter actually just informed me that even though you can't swap out the adult entrees, like you can't go from prime rib to chicken, you can change up the sides a little bit. So if you want a different side, they'll let you like play around with that a little bit. And that makes me excited because I want to try some other things. The potatoes are good, but I want to see if they have other potatoes maybe. And I've never had collard greens before, so that's going to be the first time I've ever had them. Somehow, I got caught up in the prime rib and I didn't stop. I didn't even get to get try the collard greens yet, but I'm gonna try them right now. It's kind of like a lazy Susan. <laughs> well, friends, that's not even collard greens. That is cream spinach. And I don't know how I made that mistake, but I don't like the cream spinach. I don't know about collard greens because I've never had it yet. I'm sure there's a good amount of you guys just sitting there saying that's not collard greens, but I guess you live and learn. I just put it in order to get another one. So it's going to come with uh, green beans and roasted potatoes. A little bit of a change up. And here is prime rib number two. This piece is a lot bigger than the last one. And you notice I did switch out to the roasted potatoes and the green beans. I know I'm going to love those potatoes, but this is just, it's like too good to be true. I love how the prime rib is seasoned. It is like a perfect blend of like, I can just tell salt and pepper and garlic. It's really, really, really seasoned well. I do like these uh, just roasted potatoes a little bit better. They have like a little tiny Italian seasoning on them. Very delicious. Eating two of these is definitely a challenge. I feel very stuffed and I don't want to push it because we still have desserts. But I did finish my house-made white sangria and I'm gonna reuse all the fruit to put in my water. Fancy that. And now we have to get down to business and when I mean business, I mean dessert business. Lordy, lordy, lordy. What did we get ourselves into here, friends? This looks amazing. Wow. I gotta give you the breakdown of everything. First thing I want to show you guys is each one of these desserts represents Winnie the Pooh and friends. Obviously we have Tigger, and then we got Pooh Bear, then we got Rabbit, and then we got Eeyore. No Piglet, unless the chocolate sauce is Piglet, I don't know. But this looks unbelievable. We have a hummingbird cake, a banana cream cake, and then this is a cupcake for Winnie the Pooh. It's got a little bee on top, and it's got caramel or honey in the middle. And then these are fritters, kind of like donuts, but this is just so much to take in, right? They bring this out to the table and this is all you care to enjoy as well. The first thing I want to try is that hummingbird cake over here. So we're gonna cut right down in there. Oh boy. Oh, definitely. I could just tell I'm gonna love this. And now I gotta go with the banana. Oh, that fell apart really easily. It's like a tart. Uh-oh, there we go, there we go. I don't think I gotta try the other ones. The tart's my favorite. Yep, just like that. I'm gonna take a second bite, that's how good it is. Recently, I've been noticing Disney's been using these cupcake like wrappers and they've been very difficult to open up oh but i think i did this one pretty successfully so if you guys remember seeing the uh cupcake that uh is at starbucks it had like a uh, little tiny hidden mickey in the center this is gonna have a little something hidden in the center as well i'm gonna try to cut it for you so you can see uh-oh that didn't go well but look oh there it goes very fun and then last but not least, these little donut fritters. They should put this like in a different ramekin because I don't know about the dunkability here. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh boy. That, oh, what did I do? Uh oh, it's like Pooh Bear stuck in a honey pot. There you go, that is way too much chocolate. Maybe we'll do this. There we go, okay, all right, there you go. Maybe the donuts are actually for roux because you dunk a roux. You know, you dunk them in there, so dunk a roux. All of 
the desserts were amazing, but the banana cream tart was seriously the best thing. I absolutely love it. I wonder if you can get just all banana cream tarts, because I would do that. It was literally just that good. I don't know why. It's like a perfect blend of ingredients. Definitely my favorite dessert in a while. But honestly, that was so amazing. I enjoyed every single thing about this. Dare I say, this is my new food experience at Disney. Like, this is my new favorite Disney dining. I'm sorry I said it. It's $40, all you can eat. Dessert, prime rib, beverage. You can't go wrong, that is unbelievable. And you're staring at the castle while you're eating. Like this is iconic and I hope they do this with a lot more restaurants. Like they can take away the all you can eat buffets. I'd much rather this more like scenario, this setup where you have the entree. Now, I don't know if the entrees are always gonna be endless because I feel like it's one of those California Grill brunch things where it doesn't say that it's all you care to enjoy but they just bring them out. So I don't know if that'll change anytime soon, but I'm gonna try to take advantage of it as much as I can. I think you guys should too. Anyhow, we need to move out. We need to get out of the Crystal Palace and explore the Magic Kingdom a little bit at nighttime. And it's so crazy because you just actually leave and then just take a look at that. This is why I love the Crystal Palace. This is amazing, isn't it? Casually strolling around the Magic Kingdom at night, especially during the holidays, is one of the greatest feelings ever. There's no way anybody could ever come here and experience this and hate Disney World. I feel like it's just magic, especially during the holidays. Just watching people enjoy the Magic Kingdom and just being in awe of the castle and taking hundreds of photos. I used to be like that. I used to come on vacation and I probably took more pictures of this castle than any single thing other than myself. And I just absolutely love the feeling you get. I still take tons of pictures of the castle. What am I talking about? The reason I'm kind of being all sappy and emotional is because earlier I did tell you that the last time I ate at the Crystal Palace was the night that I found out that Disney was closing. And I know at that moment, I was just like, wow, this is real, like this is happening. And it was such a feeling. And honestly, I didn't know if Disney was gonna reopen again. Like, it was like, kind of like a big blow. Like, I was real shocked. I think Disneyland announced they were closing and that was like a week prior to that. And then Disney World announced, and I was like, wow, I didn't think it was gonna happen here, but it happened everywhere, and it was just such a thing. And now look at us. I didn't even think we were gonna have a Christmas this year, and like, I, I'm, I'm here, I'm here. I'm in the Magic Kingdom on Christmas. I'm staring at multicolor lights right now. There's the tree. Look at Main Street. Everyone's walking down with their cameras in the air, just capturing everything. And these are all the things we didn't think that we were going to actually get this year. The castle, the projections. They just recently added a couple of fireworks to it. Like, this is amazing. We would never be getting this. And I guess we're gonna say goodbye to the Christmas tree. There's a candle that's flickering right there and it's really catching my attention. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but when it happens, it's gonna be, oh, there it is, do you see it? Oh, I love it. Anywho, I just love this tree. I just love this place. I just love everything. Anywho, I think I am done here for the day. It was absolutely amazing. I love the Crystal Palace. It's literally now my favorite dining experience at Disney World at the moment. You can't go wrong with the price. I loved it so much. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey friends. Tonight, we are dining at the Crystal Palace. Now, this is my first time ever being here actually and it's always been on my bucket list and I don't know, I just kind of felt like, you know what? Today's gonna be the day. So, I booked a reservation, party of one, and uh, let's go do this. Look at them, look at that. Oh, look at everyone, they're excited to see you as they're walking by. Hi. Or maybe they don't see you. I see you. I see you. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and then right outside the window, happily ever after. That's awesome. Hi, Pooh. 
<laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, oh wow, I seen everybody. Now Pooh's here. I love it. Yeah, we're gonna head out. I know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I felt so welcome here. <laughs> what is Pooh doing? And that's gonna do it for me. But on a side note, as I was in there, uh, I got a notification on my phone and I found out that Disney is gonna be closing. Yeah, they're closing March 16th to the end of the month and uh, I'm just finding out about this. So uh, I don't know how many more vlogs I'm gonna be able to do at Disney. I'm still gonna make videos, but uh, wow. I'm gonna have a whole three weeks without going to the parks. Well, yeah, I guess it's for the best, honestly. If we can contain anything with the uh, coronavirus, I think it's good that we jump on it immediately. So, until next time, we'll see ya. Bye!